What's up everybody? There's a couple of games on Tereba, only a few games left that I haven't won from. One of them's the ping pong dropper, and the other's the game we're gonna check out right now. It's a D-clip game with the D-clips on top of the box, and there's a platform in the back with the sticky bar, and why am I even trying to explain it to you guys? Let's just look at the play now. All right, let's see if we can get through this voiceover without any loud horns or loud cars revving. When you live in the hood, you're subject to a lot of different noises. One of the noises being freeway noise. A lot of times that's why people in the hood talk so loudly. They gotta learn how to talk over the sound of passing cars, accidents, sirens, all types of different noises that are gonna come in between you and the person trying to receive your message. Lucky for us, I can hit the record button at any time. Problem is, it seems like every time I go to hit the record button, some noise or another will inevitably throw me off track or simply be too loud to be left in the recording. You ever know those people, for whatever reason, have a giant horn, a boat horn, a friggin' fire truck horn on their car, or maybe on a truck? Honestly, when are you gonna use that? Are you gonna ever be lost in such fog that you're not able to see your way out, and the only way to get back to civilization is to echolocate with your giant boat horn? Not gonna happen. But what is gonna happen is you're gonna dang near scare some old lady half to death, if she doesn't have a heart attack right there, she will later when she stops to think about just what kind of world we're living in where a grown man will actually take time out of his day to ensure that after installing said boat horn, dude's actively trying to be that much more annoying than he was without the horn. Moral of the story is, don't be the horn guy. If you have to go that far out of your way to be annoying, chances are you were already that annoying before the horn got installed. And buddy, you don't need any more reasons for people to not like you. But... It's a free conch, and you can do what you want, but if you do, more than likely, you are the horn guy. So don't be the horn guy, be better. Like these plays right here that you're watching of this awesome Sumikogurashi bath mat. Some diatomaceous earth, whatever that is, soaks up more water than them there ShamWow towels. I know for sure, cause we have it in my bathroom right now. Every time I get out of the shower, that thing's perfect. Sops up all the water. You could dang near get out of the shower dripping wet, and that bath mat's gonna hold most of the water that doesn't splash off the mat. And look at that win. Not much of a fall from the bar. The box is so long that there wasn't much room in between the bar and the bottom of the machine, so the prize didn't have far to fall. It honestly looks like it's still hooked on the bar. But no, in fact, I was awarded the prize, and with a couple of free play, this four play win is coming in at around four bucks. Four bucks for a little bit of footage for you guys to watch and me to rant over, and even got a pretty sweet Sumogogurashi bath mat in the process. Great prize, and remember, don't be the horn guy. Really cool game, and definitely got some practice going with the D-clips because of Pete. Big shout out to the crane guy. Long time no see, man. Hope you're doing real good, and I hope we can get back in those arcades soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, think about giving it a like and a comment. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day, and be well. Peace.